Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Up Next to More with Ember Brown, and right now, I got the Joker too cold in the building. We already know what's going on. One of your famous songs where we do it for fun, right? Mm-hmm. Is that one of the songs you wanted to be known for? I I didn't really know it was gonna go like that. I was I was glad that it happened. Um it's one of my favorites though, you know what I'm saying? We do it for fun to the door. Okay. Any new projects? Yeah, I got I got um two new projects coming. I got um I got one called October thirty first, which is a promotional mixtape for um another tape I have coming on October thirty first, which is called Why So Serious Three. It's the third installment. It's a famous uh installment of mixtapes that I have, and um then I'm on the third segment right now. You can check the other ones on you know your your mixtape sites or whatever, and they are have the numbers over the millions. And so um it's one of the things that my fans wait for. And so since I've been gone for a while, I wanted to give them something before we dropped it. And it's called October 31st, and it'll be out. I have to ask the question because I know the fans want to know. Where have you been? I've been a whole lot of places. It is, um, I got one of those situations before I dealing with music. A lot of people don't, people are looking at musicians and, and like it's like fairy tale type shit, but you know, we still go through a uh, life situation. I been I was incarcerated, you know, for a good minute. And um, when I was released, I was then, um, I was put into a bad contractual situation. Okay. Dealing with labels and things like that. And it's, uh, and it just gradually, everything has just really slowed down the grind, uh, business wise. But, what I can say is that I've been out here learning, you know, one thing about falling down is that you learn how to fuck it up fast. Exactly. You know, so, uh, just right now, I've been gone for a minute, but it's the key, you know, we back, you know, it, it's just, one one thing that I didn't understand getting in the music business as a child is about business, is the business aspect of it. And so, she, the best way that you can learn about that aspect is getting fucked. You know what I'm saying? So she once you once you you know learn that side of it first, then that, that teaches you the rest of the game. What are your current thoughts on the new hip hop world? I fuck with it and I don't. I fuck with it. I I, li I listen to these niggas. You know what I'm saying? I jam to my I turn up to them. You know what I'm saying? But it just as far as it doing something for me as a as a as a guy that uh, that comes up in a real hip hop era. And, and respect uh, music as an artist. Mm -hmm. I don't really, I don't, I don't hear the the devotion in it, and uh, it's cool to turn up to, you know. Shout out to all the guys that do that type of stuff, you know. I, I really not one of those type of guy, you know. So I, I really like to, I tell real life stories, and I um, and I portray lyricism, you know. When I when I go in the studio, I don't waste my money. You feel me? Right. What does the Joker have to have with him when he's in the studio? Yeah. Do you need a Starburst? A microphone. Skittles? Microphone? Okay. A microphone. I like liquor. I like drugs. I like weed. I like intoxicants. I'm very cloudy. Nigga. Like, <laughs> I like to be everywhere. You like real shit. Like, I like shit. I go hard. Like, my nigga have to contain me. And they, want, they really like that. One key that I that I can give the rappers stop at the store before you go to the studio and get you some cough drop. You feel me? You know, you know, get your sonics right. You feel me? Get your you know your voice right before you step in that bitch. But I, I can say that's a key factor. But you know, as far as intoxicants, I got to have them. You, you got to have them. I don't got to have them, but I got to have them. You got feel me? To, I feel you. So you've been in this rap world for a minute. Mm -hmm. Craziest fan experience that you encountered this far? She uh, hey go. She you want me to tell the real crazy fan fans or you want You got to give them real? She, real. One time we was up we was in uh we was somewhere. And so it was somewhere. 
And what happened was, <laughs> we had a victim. And so we was in the car. And so uh, I come up in the air, uh, I come in the game young, so you know, young nigga, you know, you like to, you know, I, I watch WWF and stuff like that coming up, so you tag to you in the time. You know what I mean? So we, uh, we had us a victim. And uh, we had the victim, uh, we had to how, how many? <laughs> how many looks did it take to the get to the city? No. <laughs> how many strikes did it take to the top of the tree? Right? Nah, but, but not. Nah, we, 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 uh, we. Are you signed to anyone? And if not, who would you want to be signed to? I have a um, partnership ongoing right now with um, E1 Records Entertainment One. And, um,. And it's, it's part of the reason why I've had such a style in my career at this point. I probably never, unless someone comes to me with the terms that I want, like some, on some Ray Charles type shit, I probably never sign another deal. Right.